So I hate bots in old school RuneScape. I mean, I absolutely despise them. So I set off on a journey on learning how to PK bots. And so I thought I'd make a YouTube video on how to PK bots in old school RuneScape for five to 10 mil GP an hour. By the way, I'm only risking roughly 140K while I'm doing this. So it's not too scary. And once you get used to the wilderness, it'll become even less stressful. So when I decided I wanted to learn how to kill these bots, they were all around level 70 to 80. So I couldn't kill them on my main account, but the time it took me to level up my pure account, the higher end bots, specifically the bots in the north of the rev caves are now sitting around level 97. And then in the southern part of the rev caves, there's bots that are level 110 to 126. So if you have a roughly level 100 to max combat level character, then you can still kill these. So I'm just going to get straight to the point on how to kill some of these bots. And I'm going to talk about some of the gear that I use, where these bots are located, and talk a little bit about the pure account that I made specifically to kill bots, because there's a lot more lower level bots around and you'll make a lot more GP an hour. So the best way I found to kill these bots without risking too much is to just bring a uh, dragon dagger poisoned and a magic spell like fire surge and basically what you do is you just snare the bot and then you start poking it or specking it with your dragon dagger and then the bot will pray melee and at that point you can get a full tele block off on them so you'll have plenty of time to chase them down and kill them and if you keep your dragon dagger out then they will keep praying melee so if you just hold your dragon dagger and then click on fire surge and keep casting that on them then you will hit some pretty big numbers sometimes they'll switch to praying magic and if they do then just poke them or spec them a couple times with your dragon dagger so they switch back to praying melee and then keep fire surging them eventually the bots will run out of food and you can finish off the kill and if you keep hitting them off prayer then they seem to run out of food pretty quickly and that's about it so each time you kill a bot they'll usually have anywhere from 400k to 700k on them sometimes they'll run out of prayer and you can get their amulet of avarice so yeah just keep stacking up the keys and the better you get at killing bots the more gp you'll make an hour and by the way there's a few different types of bots there's these newer bots which will one tick switch into mage gear and entangle you and if you do get entangled then they just walk under you and then they log out i've tried bringing mithril seeds but they just tick perfect walk underneath you so i tend to just go after the other bots which are which are you'll figure out like the difference in bots most of the bots will just instantly flick on protect magic from you and start running south they, they also all just wear the same gear so it's pretty easy to tell so the best location to kill bots is in the revenant caves if you've never been to the rev caves then you can run to the southern entrance from the ferox enclave here or you can use a revenant cave teleport to the northern entrance up here so the best location to kill the lower level bots are around this area where there's some imps and some hellhounds or whatever they are. And then you can find some lower level bots up, up around here. And you can also find some lower level bots pretty much all around this area. You can find lower level bots. And then there'll be like level 40s and 50 bots around these imps here. And then to find the higher level bots, there's a high level bot farm that's going on around here there's some a lot of level 97 bots around here uh, there's also some high level bots here and then here now let me talk about some of the gear that i'm bringing so what i bring is a tome of fire which is worth about one mil but if you have protect item on then you are pretty safe from losing that I have lost the Tome of Fire a couple of times. I've, I've been smited a couple of times, but it's pretty rare to get smited. So if you ever do run into a PK, then just remember to keep your prayer up and you'll be okay. And so all of this gear can be changed to how you like. It's just that the Tome of Fire is key here because your fire spells do an extra 50% more damage. And I would highly recommend getting 95 magic level to be able to cast the fire surge. But yeah, you can just change the gear to whatever works best for your account but for my pure i'm wearing a combat bracelet i'm wearing climbing boots of course a ring of recoil amulet of glory and and just a battle staff you could probably bring a ancient staff if you'd like for just a little bit more magic dps and then i'm wearing ghostly robes which give a massive magic attack and defense bonus 
And the good thing about the ghostly robes is that they're absolutely free. All that you need to do is complete the quest Curse of the Empty Lord. It's a mini quest and you get these robes and then you can just like go and get as many robes as you want. I've stocked up on like a hundred of each piece. For pures, I'm pretty sure these are the second best magic armor you can get. And then the best in slot are the Elder Chaos Druids, which are around 750k. And for the inventory, just prayer pots, stamina pot food, uh, runes for fire surge, and bringing blighted teleport sacks. These just have all the runes for you to cast teleport. So if I go out into into the wilderness here, it will have uh, the tele the tele block, and then the entangle sack which will have, uh, basically they just allow you to cast these spells without actually having to bring all of the runes. But yeah, during peak hours, there's so many bots in the rev caves at the moment. I mean, just look at them. They're like ants running in and out. And over here in the southern part of the rev caves, over in this area, I always see really high level bots, like level 110 to 126. I always try and talk to them, but they never reply. And just from looking at their stats and the gear that they wear, it's pretty obvious they're bots. They just have some random stats and just some random KC, but what really stands out is their level 110 to level 120 range and then yesterday i saw a couple of bots here and one of them had max combat so i think there's just a botter out there that has access to some really high level accounts if i was to kill these accounts and i'd just hop worlds and try and cast the tele block on them before they have a chance to react because some of them do have a bit of delay before they either teleport or put protect from magic on but yeah for all the bots that are above level 30 wilderness the key is to entangle them and then just get them to switch their prayer by taking out your dds and then tally blocking them and then just keep entangling them and doing damage to them sometimes it takes a few minutes just depending on how much food they have and like how much you splash and stuff but yeah it's a really good risk-free method but yeah i've had a ton of fun just killing bots in the rev caves on my pure for the past two weeks and so obviously you can bring dragon claws and then you, you can risk like 100 or 200 mil and try and like spec and KO these bots, but I'm not comfortable with losing that amount of GP. So, and plus this is like a noob friendly guide anyways. Anyways, that's about it. Just want to make a quick guide, mainly for the new or returning players or for players that just want to get into killing bots because it's actually a ton of fun. But yeah, that's all for the guide and yeah, I'll see you later.